This is Living Hell TV. Welcome to Health 101 with me, Dr. Benga Adebayo. Brought to you by Living Health International, your number one health and wellness solution company. Today, we're looking at an issue that is causing the rain right now. It's causing problems all over town. People are saying all kinds of stuff about this condition. Today, we want to discuss what you really, really need to know about Ebola fever. What you really need to know. Let me tell you a short story. There was a village that death came to me, the village end. He said to him, in two weeks time, I am coming to kill two people. The village had went ballistic, tried to negotiate with death, tried to talk to him, but death was adamant. So, the village head went back to meet everybody in the village and said to them, in two weeks time, death says he's coming to kill two people. There was pandemonium. Everybody rushed up and down, ran. They were fearful. They were scared. Those that could cry, cry. Those that could sound assault, sound assaulted. And the day came, and the hundred people died. Hi, death had come and gone. The village head was ballistic. At his next meeting with death, he said to death, "Death, you deceived me." You lied to me. You told me you are going to kill just two people. What happened to the many nights yet? And that said, that was not me. I came, I killed just two people. The remaining 98, the fear of death killed them. And that is what is happening around us now. A lot of people are fearful. A lot of people are doing wrong things just with that me. We had the message flood the waves, flood the social media networks, and people were saying to themselves, You want to prevent the Ebola fever? Bait yourself with salt. Drink salt. Some people have died from drinking salt. Bad information. Bad information. Terrible information. So, what do you really, really need to know about Ebola fever? Okay? What is Ebola fever? The correct name for the disease is what we call Ebola viral disease. And as the name suggests, it is caused by a virus called the Ebola virus. Viruses are very tiny, tiny, tiny organisms. Viruses are so tiny that they can cause diseases in coat. They can infect bacteria. And we can't even see bacteria with our naked eye. So imagine how small a virus is. So a virus is a tiny organism and Ebola virus is one of such organisms. So Ebola fever is caused by a virus and as such it is not amenable to antibiotics. Now, because viruses don't respond to antibiotics. Mm -hmm. So where does this virus come from? We think the current medical research shows us that these viruses are found in food bats. These food bats transmit it to other animals, e.g., for example, antelopes, baboons, monkeys, and all these animals in various regions of Africa as deadly cases. They treat them as bushes. So when these these animals have the Ebola virus in them, and then you kill them eat them and you don't cook them properly, then the human being cannot be a human being. So once a human being is now infected with that virus and has the Ebola viral disease, Ebola fever in common language, he can now transmit it to another person. How does he transmit it? Does he transmit it just by smiling at the person or just by looking at the person? No, 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 no. You don't get Ebola fever just because you looked at the person that has Ebola fever. No, you must come in contact with the person's body fluids. By that we mean his saliva, his sweat, his blood, or for men, their semen. That is how the virus is transmitted. So you are not going to get Ebola fever simply you because you walk past someone that has the virus. You are not going to get the polar fever simply because you are walking on the streets of Lagos. No, no, no. You must come in contact with the bloody fluids of an infected, actively infected person. Oh, yeah, yeah. So how do you come in contact with that body fluid? 
different ways. If you touch somebody that is sick and the person transmits those things to you, then you can't get the virus. Or if you touch the dead body of someone that has been killed by the virus, then you can also get the virus. That is how it is transmitted. How do we make a diagnosis of it? What are the things that you see when someone has the Ebola viral disease? We had the person that sudden onset of fever, just suddenly start feeling all, it's all cold, feeling shivers and all that. He has sore throat. The person has body weakness, muscle pain. The person may have severe headache. Yeah, you see all these symptoms are also symptoms of common other ailments that we have around us. Malaria fever can give you such symptoms. Uh, even other hemorrhagic fever disease can give you such symptoms. More common diseases can give you such symptoms. And then the person can go on to have a rash. The person can also start bleeding. Nah. He can bleed on his body, bleed internal pain, and that is what we have. And of course, the person can die. And so, can you see from what we have said that these symptoms are not specific symptoms, they are symptoms that you have in other conditions as well. How do we treat Ebola fever? Currently, there is no cure. So the treatment of Ebola fever is supportive. The person is going to be losing a lot of fluids. So we try to put the fluids back. The person is going to be in pain. We try to give the person pain relief. But there is currently no cure. No cure for the disease. But does it mean everybody that has the disease will die? No, 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 no. We, the disease has a high mortality rate. Yes, yes, it does. Up to 90% of people that have the virus can die of the disease, but some do survive, especially if they start treatment early. How can you prevent it? Which is the key? Hygiene. Hygiene. Hygiene is the key to preventing the disease. Wash your hands. Under running water with soap and water. As you go out, you come in before you put your hands to your eyes, to your mouth, wash your hands. We are told now sanitizers are out of the market. If you can get a sanitizer that has more than 65% alcohol content, then you can use it. It will be helpful. But water, soap, good soap, good water, wash your hands and observe basic hygiene. If somebody you see is sick, don't touch the person. Don't touch the dead body of somebody that does die from an illness that is most likely a Ebola fever. No, no, no. Don't touch the person. Cook your meat properly. Cook it properly and stay safe. In conclusion, Ebola fever is a deadly disease. It's a killer disease. It is a preventable disease. Don't act with fear. Be vigilant. Don't drink salt yourself don't spread fear spread this message subscribe to this channel share this message to someone save a life so in conclusion Ebola viral disease has no cure but it can be prevented so vigilance is a key not fear please don't work with fear thank you for listening to this interesting video I believe subscribe to this channel share it and save a life. You can connect with me on Twitter at Dr. Adebayo, Dr. Adebayo, all one word. And I'd like to ask you a question. If you could speak to Patrick Sawyer, who was the first person to bring the Ebola virus disease to Nigeria, what would you say to him? What do you think was going to be How would you advise him? Thank you for listening. God bless you.